Retain your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. In my language, the Quanarin is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. You are the Dova Keen, the Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The Ideal Masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor, and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. 
free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. I heard something. Leave me in peace. Yes, how may I serve you, my lord? I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lord. Please, do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling. It's that I am physically unable. Oh, please, my lord. Please, forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the moths are following, 
They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Oh, the Moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the Moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Fortune smile upon you, my lord. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. I have everything I need right here. Try and make this quick.
<laughs> Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in the sky now. It's beautiful. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Hope the moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Taking a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. Looks like we're on the right track. Okay. I almost thought I lost you there. You weren't as white as the snow. Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You weren't as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down.
done and done. Where'd you come from? What do you think you're doing? Oh! Yeah! Where'd you come from? Done and done. <laughs> I think we may be in for some trouble.
Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the Betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the Inner Sanctum, where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Wayshrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. 
I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey.
maps. Be careful here. Whatever's on the other side of this, Alma wanted to keep it. Where'd you come from? Almost doesn't even look real, you know? That's another way shrine up there. Here we go. Welcome, Initiate. This is the way shrine of illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Welcome, Initiate. This. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. May Ariel's brilliance illuminate your path.
like a whole other world. Come on, the bow has to be in this valley somewhere. with his in life. Ariel bless you, child, for you are a step closer to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom.
You show Poison not interested in your It doesn't matter stretch. how many times you ask. For a dragon to attack Kynes Grove. Think that. Why? Out on some Why there? Opportunities Is no place hard. safe? Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier. What is it? Dragons? What is it? I'm telling you, Ulfric's I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. Good. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold I've support him. I've read stories him. about the Solitude Wind. It's not a cause. I didn't expect it's it to be rebellion. that big. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Speak with Legget Ricca. She. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that dragons or no dragons. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Council at High Rothgar. You believe it? Both Ulfric Stonecloak and General Collins. 